Okay, guys, least common multiple. This is exciting, exciting stuff. All right. Like if you have your TV on, turn it off because you're not going to want to miss a second of this. Okay. So first of all, what's a multiple? A multiple is, um, multiples of the number. Okay. So <laughs> three times one is three, three times two is six, three times three is nine. Those answers are your multiples. Okay. So if I were to list out the multiples of three, I would get three, six, nine, 12, right? I'm just adding three each time, counting by threes. Okay. All numbers get this guys. All numbers have an infinite amount of multiples. What? I know you should write that down because it's a big deal. Okay. So I can't write them all out. Literally. I can't. So I'll just write out a few and then, um, you might need to add more if you don't get to one that it has in common. Okay. So I just added 15 here, 18. Oh my gosh. Yes. 18. <laughs> I just had a brain freeze. It is 18. All right. 18, 21. I could keep going right literally forever. Okay. So three now multiples of five. This is awesome. Five, 10, 15, 20, right? I could keep going 25. It keeps going. Okay. We want the smallest one, the smallest multiple, the least. Okay. The smallest one. So what is the smallest number that is a multiple of both of these? It is 15. Okay. Least common multiple. What? Okay. All right. Let's look at this one. 10 and 12. Okay. Multiples of 10. Easy. You've been doing this since like kindergarten, right? 10, 20, 30, 40. I could keep going, right? Okay. And 12. These ones, maybe you don't know as well, but still we can do it. So 12 times one is 12. 12 times two is 24. 12 times three is 36. 12 times four is 48. You get the idea. Keep going. Okay. So right now I'm stopping and I'm like, uh oh, they don't have any in common. Well, they will. It just means we haven't gone far enough. Okay. So I'm going to do a few more tens, 40, 50, 60, 70. We'll see if that's enough. Let's go back to our 12s. <clears throat> uh, 48 plus 12 gives me 60. Oh, and look, there we go. I went far enough. So here we have a 60 and a 60. Those are the smallest multiples, the least common multiples of 10 and 12. So my answer there is 60. Okay. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. If you are, um, learning GCFs as well, I'll link the video here. Um, hopefully that made sense and you can get your homework done.